Rick Star here. Today I'm doing a video on four easy steps on how to get into shape. Some of us find it pretty hard to get into shape, but going from this to this can be relatively easy if you follow these four simple steps. Step one, no more fast food. KFC, McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, Dunkin' Donuts, whatever it is, get rid of it. All it is is convenience and calories. Step two, join a gym. It doesn't even need to be a fancy gym. All it needs to be is a place where you can work out and do some exercise. Step three, have your heart broken. I'm being serious. Have your heart broken to the point where it's torn out of your chest, ripped in half, chucked on the ground, stood on, spat on, and you're left to pick up the pieces. You're so broken that you can't get out of bed. You don't know what to do. You're hurt. But you drag yourself out of bed into the gym. You try to push through. You try to make the best out of a bad situation to only realize that no one knows what you're going through. No one knows the hurt, the brokenness you're feeling. You just want to run, get away from the problems. So you jump on that treadmill, you push it up to 10, and you just run. Try run away from the brokenness, try run away from the heartbreak. And you realize that there's no running away from heartbreak. It follows you wherever you go. There's no getting away from it. But you jump back on the bike, and you try to forget about it all. Forget about the hurt, forget about the situation. To remember that you're gonna be forever alone. Hashtag forever alone. You try let it go, you try push through, you try forget about it, but you can't forget about it. And you can't even keep it together in public, even in front of people. And you just break down. But then you decide enough's enough. You go out, you buy a fitness magazine, you start learning about different exercises and nutrition, you put what you learn into practice in the gym, and you have one last cry. You let it all out, all the feelings, and you're back on the grind, back in the gym. You're using the machines, you're not sure what you're doing, but you're doing something. All of a sudden you graduate to the weight section of the gym, and you're starting to lift weights. You go to the nutrition depot, you kit yourself out with some amazing fitness gear and invest in copious amounts of protein and you walk out looking like a boss. You're back at the gym. You're starting to lift weight with actual weights on it. You're starting to make improvements. You start to see your body. Your body's changing. You're starting to see these changes. And all of a sudden you feel like you're on top of the world. You feel like you can conquer everything. And you're thankful for what happened because if it didn't happen, it wouldn't have set you on this journey. This journey of challenge. This journey of self-improvement. You looking at the person in the mirror and becoming a better version of yourself. And all of a sudden, it doesn't matter what people think because you can start realizing your full potential. Seriously though, I know we had some fun in that last clip. But there is a degree of truth in that, and that, my friends, would be step number four. Is that if you can learn to take all these stressful, negative, emotional feelings that you're going through in tough times, and learn to use that and transform that into something positive through like working out and exercise, that, my friends, is when you're gonna start seeing some amazing results. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I really do appreciate you watching, especially if you've got this far. I know it doesn't take much to hit that like button or hit subscribe, but if you do, man, it actually means the world to me. Thank you so much for watching again. I really do appreciate you, and I'll catch you later.